Hey y'all, welcome to Games for Young Minds. I'm Kent, here with a quick game for you called 15. Now this game is right in the sweet spot for a first or second grader, but older kids will also appreciate it because you've got to think strategically in order to win. And best of all, you can play with just a pencil and a piece of paper. Let's check it out. So to play the game, just get a blank sheet of paper and write out the numbers from one through nine on it. Now the goal of this game is to claim three numbers that add to 15. So you and your opponent are going to be going back and forth claiming numbers until one of you has a group of three numbers that adds to 15. Now, if you've got colored pencils or markers or something, you can just use those. But if all you have is a pencil, then one of you can put a box around their numbers and the other person can put a circle around theirs. So let's say you and your child are playing and you decide to go first and you claim the number eight. Your child goes and they claim the number four and you return and claim the number seven. Now, although seven plus eight does add to 15, that does not count as a win, because again, we are looking for three numbers that add to 15, not just two. So your child goes and they decide to pick the number two, you put a box around three, and they circle nine. Now, because two plus four plus nine adds to 15, they're the winner. Now, I love this game, especially for young elementary kids, because they spend the entire game adding one-digit numbers trying to get to 15. So what's 2 plus 5? What's 3 plus 8? What's 4 plus 6? They're doing all of this math in their head and becoming more and more fluent with single-digit addition. But of course, it doesn't feel like practice in the way that a worksheet does. They're just having fun trying to win a game. And also, as your kids get older and more comfortable with the game, they'll start to realize there's quite a bit of strategy in 15 in terms of how do I block my opponent from getting what they need while also setting up the game so that I get three numbers that add to 15. If your kid is getting really into 15, then give them this challenge, which I love. It's called a magic square. Now the idea of a magic square is you take this three by three grid and you take the same nine numbers we've been using, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you fill them in somewhere on this grid so that every column, every row, and every diagonal adds to 15. Now this is quite a challenge, even for older kids like my middle school students, or honestly, even for adults. Give it a shot yourself if you don't believe me. But if your child solves this, they will feel really great about themselves for having completed this task, and they'll have done a ton of math along the way. Just make sure that once they've completed a magic square, you play one more round of 15 on the magic square grid. I think you'll be really interested to see how it plays out. I'll just leave that for you to explore. So that's 15. If you and your kids had a great time playing it, or if you notice something interesting about the way that 15 plays with the magic square, I would love to hear about it in the comments. And as always, you can subscribe to my newsletter to get a new game recommendation every week. All the old recommendations are up on my website, gamesforyoungminds.com, where I have dozens of board games, card games, and activities for you to check out. Thanks for watching, and remember to play games and ask questions. I'll see you soon.